From the Linmar Technology and Communication Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Valentine's Day, 2011. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. It's something no child should ever have to deal with, a life-threatening illness. But there's a way that you can help. LMTV's Jeremy has that story. Joining me is Katie, representing your student council, to tell us about their fundraiser for the U of I Children's Hospital. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, great to be here. Tell us about this week's fundraiser. Well, Student Council is working with the U of I Dance Marathon Organization, raising money for the families of children with cancer who are getting treatment at the U of I hospitals. And how can we help? Just stop by the Four Corners before school. Student Council will be selling Miracle Stars, having a bake sale, and just taking donations. Thanks, Katie. That's the fundraiser for the U of I Children's Hospital this week. Uh, Kenny, back to you. Thanks, guys. In other news. Would you like to travel to Italy? There is an art tour of Italy being planned for July 2012. The first informational meeting for parents and students is tomorrow night at 6.30 in the art room at Marion High School. For more information, please see Mr. Mullock. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. Food classes at Lenoir are having a fundraiser for Megan Scott, a sophomore diagnosed with brain cancer, February Sweetheart Month and we're selling beautiful heart-shaped sugar cookies with all the proceeds going to the Marion Eagles who will help Megan's wishes come true. For only one dollar you can order a cookie and have it delivered to your friend or sweetheart during the week of Valentine's. You'll need to know your friend's schedule before you order. Order your cookies before school in the Four Corners or in the cafeteria the week of Valentine's Day. Order some to take home too! They're delicious! Remember, hearts for Megan next week. It's t-shirt time? Both kind of t-shirts on. Yeah, it is tough too. It's t-shirt time! That's right everyone, it's time to get your 2011 Linmar men's soccer apparel. The snow won't last forever and once it's gone, you're gonna want to wear your favorite team's gear to the new Linmar Stadium to see your teams in action. Find your favorite men's soccer player or coach to order this great stuff, but don't wait. You'll only have until February 15th. Welcome back! Time is running out. If you plan to bring a date to the WPA dance who is not a Linmar student, completed date request forms are, ba are due back to the main office by Thursday. The forms are available now in the main office. The dance is Sat Saturday, February 26. Now Jacob takes a look at this morning's sports. Thanks, Kimmy. On the scoreboard, congratulations to the wrestlers. There were eight who qualified for state, including Elijah Jeffrey, Joel Northrup, Jeremy Severin, Ross Lembeck, Josh Peterson, Tanner Regenweather, Mitch Wontok, AJ Gar and AJ Garcia. Great job, guys. Boys basketball, the guys beat Wash 62 to 41. The sophomores also won 59 to 39. The bowlers fell short to Jefferson, unfortunately. Now tonight in Linmar Sports, JV Boys Basketball plays at Xavier at 6.30. Ninth grade boys basketball will host Jefferson in the main gym at 6 and 7.30. JV and Varsity Bowling will host Prairie at the Cedar Rapids Bowling Center at 345. Team dismissed at 235. In other sports news, the boys track team will meet in the lower commons after school before practice and be dressed to go outside. The Linmar girls soccer team is looking for team managers for our 2011 season. If you have any questions or are interested, please contact Coach Dickinson or see Mrs. Moe in the athletic office. Speaking of girls soccer team, they are selling cool looking t-shirts. Stop by the athletic office to find out more. All girls interested in joining the tennis team, sign up in the athletic office as soon as possible. If you are planning on going out for a spring or summer sport, make sure that you have an updated physical in the athletic office before practice begins. You will not be allowed to practice if it is not up to date. That's sports, Kimmy. Back to you. Thanks, Jacob. In news from the counselors, seniors, check out the latest scholarship opportunities on the Linmar Counseling website. Remember, Linmar Foundation scholarship applications will be available very soon in the counseling office. For details, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Rhea joins us with the Arts and Clubs. But first, will you be my Valentine, Rhea? Sure, Cammie. <laughs> On the Linmar Arts and Clubs scene, congratulations to all three show choirs for, the for their successes at the Fort Atkinson competition in Wisconsin on Saturday. 
High Style came in fifth out of seven teams. Instep got second out of seventh. And 10th Street made history and left no doubt as the grand champion with both, with both best choreography and best vocals. Congratulations to all involved. Contest speech participants going to Marshalltown. You must turn in your money to Mrs. Dayton as soon as possible. Ping Pong Club will meet tomorrow after school in the Lower Commons right after school. New members are welcome, so stop by and check us out. Attention Aristocats cast and crew, including the Palms. If you are ordering a t-shirt for the Aristocats, please have your money into Mrs. Dayton t by tomorrow. The cost is $10. That's your club update. Back to you, Kimmy. Thanks, Rhea. Today on Channel 1, a look at last night's Grammy Awards. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now Jacob joins us with today's lunch. Well, today it's a homemade taco pie with Mexicali corn and mandarin oranges and a valentine cake. The other lines will offer the bratwurst bar. And the food court serves up the tomato basil soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Your LMTV forecast looks great. We will see sunny skies today with a high of 37. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low of 20. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and warmer with a high near 40. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. <laughs> Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire casting crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and have a great Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs>